The Chinese, Hopping Vampire, has its origins deeply rooted in the Ming and Qing dynasties as a prominent figure in ancient Chinese folklore. This supernatural entity is specifically linked to the accumulation of excessive yin energy in a person's body after death. The basic image of a Jiangshu typically resembles that of Qing dynasty officials or soldiers. Their bodies are rigid, with black and sharp fingernails, a grim and terrifying countenance featuring greenish skin, and protruding fangs. They are unable to speak human language and can only emit roars. During the daytime, they hide in damp and dark places like coffins or caves, where they absorb the life force of the living. However, they fear sunlight, glutinous rice, and flames. During the Qing dynasty, in a village in the Shanghai region, a malevolent creature appeared that would prey on children. Since the villagers had no idea what kind of supernatural being was causing these incidents, they were utterly powerless. One day, a soldier returning to his unit passed through this area and encountered a thunderstorm. Seeking shelter from the rain, he took refuge in a shrine. To the east of the shrine was a graveyard with an old withered tree. As the thunder and lightning persisted, always encircling the tree and striking, the soldier noticed a woman atop the tree. She wore red clothes and had a pale face, with disheveled hair and bare feet. Her eyes were as large as lamps. She was engaged in a confrontation with the thunder and lightning. Each time the thunder roared, she used a long silk cloth in her hand to counter it, pushing back the lightning. This happened repeatedly, and it seemed like the lightning had little effect on her. The soldier found this situation strange since he knew that no human could stand against the might of the thunder god. He suspected that this must be some kind of supernatural creature. Conveniently, he had a gun with gunpowder, so he seized the opportunity and fired a shot at the woman. The bullet struck her right in the face. She fell from the withered tree, and the lightning followed suit, striking downward. As time passed, the rain gradually subsided, and the thunder ceased. The next day, the soldier and the villagers discovered the woman's forehead had a gunshot wound, and she had been dead for some time. However, her face and hands were covered in white hair, indicating that she was undoubtedly a zombie. The legend of hopping vampires is most frequently associated with the Xiangxi region, possibly originating from local myths about corpse driving. In Xiangxi, corpse driving, also known as moving spirits, involves the transportation of bodies back to their hometowns for burial before they decompose. The practice involves a group of about three to five sorcerers who accompany the body. They tie the body with ropes, spacing them several feet apart, and affix yellow paper talismans to their foreheads. Others in the group play gongs and bells to clear the way as they travel by day and rest by night. At the break of dawn, they reach their destination, remove the talismans, and prop their bodies against a wall until nightfall when they continue their journey.